Hello there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after we've discussed uh, topics on sets, uh, ang next lesson natin for week 3, uh, grade 7 math, quarter 1, so will be the set of integers. So actually, ang lesson ng uh, third week for grade 7 is about the operations of integers. However, uh, I will be discussing about the introductions of integers. So, para maging aware kayo ano nga ba yung integers before we perform uh, the operations. So, let's start. For our lesson objectives, we have, first, of course, we will be defining the set of integers. Second, represent the set of integers using a number line. So, let's start our discussion by defining the set of integers. So, the set of integers include all positive and negative whole numbers and 0. So, para mas makita nyo kung ano nga ba yung mga positive and negative whole numbers as well as 0, ito siya. So, in math, ginagamit natin yung capital I to denote integers. And as, as you can see, dito sa right side, we have positive integers. And then, sa left side naman is negative integers. So, may mga nakikita tayo dito na... 3 consecutive dots magkabilaan. So, nilagay po yung mga dots na yun, 3 consecutive dots na yan, from left and right to denote that there are infinitely many negative integers and infinitely many positive integers. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung nauuna, ay nahuhuli, pero alam natin kung ano yung pinakaunang positive integer. Alam din natin kung ano yung pinakamataas na negative integer, which is negative one. And then, yung nasa gitna naman is what we call zero. So, yung zero, lagi po siyang nasa gitna. So, halimbawa, may kaibigan ka. So, tatlo kayo magkakaibigan. So, si kaibigan number one, and then kaibigan number three, magkaaway. So, si kaibigan number two, mediator siya. Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna siya. Wala siyang kinakampihan. So, when we say positive integers, Positive integers are the set of natural or counting numbers or integers greater than 0. While negative integers are the set of integers less than 0. So, ayan. Positive, laging nasa right side ng 0. Sa left side naman ng 0, yung mga negative integers. And of course, yung pinakahuli nga, 0 is neither positive nor negative. So, wala po siyang sign ha. Kapag tinanong kayo, what is the sign of 0? So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na positive 0 or negative 0 kasi nga wala siyang value. Okay? Neutral lang siya. Nasa gitna. So, how do we represent uh, the set of integers using a number line? So, before that, I will be discussing what is a number line. So, again, the set of integers may be represented by locating them as points on a number line. So, what is a number line? So, when we say a number line, it is a horizontal number line. So, horizontal, ibig sabihin, nakapahiga yung line. Okay, so, meron kasi tayong vertical line. Okay, so, in here, we will be using horizontal number line. So, para may pakita natin yung set of integers. And then, positive integers are located on the right of zero. Again, lahat ng positive integers nasa kanan ng zero. And then, yung mga negative integers are on the left of zero, Nasa kaliwa naman ng 0 ang mga negative integers. And then, 0 is located on the point called the origin. So, nasa gitna po yung 0. So, yung point na kung nasaan, yung 0, ang tawag po doon is origin. So, let's have an illustration of number line. Okay, as you can see, dito sa number line natin, horizontal number line siya na kung saan, yung nasa gitna is 0. Again, 0 is neither positive nor negative. And then, on the right side of 0, yung mga positive integers. And then, on the left side of 0 naman, yung mga negative integers. For example, the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So, ayan. As you can see, nakasulat dyan. So, yung negative, and then, naka-enclose sa parenthesis yung negative 3, magiging positive 3. Okay, tatandaan nyo lang lagi, ang kabaligtaran ng negative ay positive, ang kabaligtaran ng positive ay negative. And then, the opposite of 3 is negative 3. So, ayan. 
And then, note that the opposite of a number n is negative n. Ulit ha, ang kabaligtaran ng positive integer ay negative integer. Sa kabaligtaran naman, ang, ang opposite ng negative integer ay positive integer. So, hindi pwedeng maging kabaligtaran ng positive ang kapwa niya positive, ang negative kapwa niya negative. Okay? So, let's have an activity. For activity number 1, write an integer for each lettered point and give its opposite. So, ayan. So, makikita nyo may number line tayo from negative 10 to 10. And then, may mga letters dyan na nakalagay, naka-indicate. So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-identify natin kung anong integer yon and then also yung opposite nung integer na yon. Like, for example, yung letter L. So, as you can see, merong negative 10 dito and then negative 8. So, ano ba yung nasa gitna ng negative 10 and negative 8? And that is negative 9. What is the opposite of negative 9? Of course, positive 9. Okay. So, pwede natin ilagay na positive yung plus sign. Pwede din namang hindi. So, sa math, usually, kapag hindi na nilagay yung positive sign, uh, understood na yun na positive yun. And then next, for letter u, what integer uh, uh, located between negative 6 and negative 4? That is negative 5. And then, the opposite of negative 5 is, of course, positive 5. Next. What is the integer uh, place between negative 3 and negative 1? Okay, that is negative 2. So, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And then, for k, so, anong nasa gitna ng 3 and 5? That is 4. The opposite of positive 4, of course, is negative 4. So, dito naman, sa negative naman, don't forget to uh, attach the negative sign. Kasi kapag tama naman yung number, for example, ang sagot mo, uh, 10. Pero ang required na sagot is negative 10. Hindi natin pwedeng i-consider ang 10. Although, yung number mismo na 10, yun ang nakasulat. Kasi wala siyang negative na sign. Okay? Walang problema kung positive 10 ang sagot. Don't need to write plus sign. Pero pag negative, kailangan yung i-attach dun sa sagot. And then, for letter Y naman, so, anong nasa gitna ng 7 and 9? That is, positive 8. So, the opposite of positive 8 is negative 8. So, ayan lang po yung pag-locate ng points using a number line. Okay? So, tatandaan nyo lang lagi yung opposite ng uh, positive is negative. Ang negative ay positive. And then, yung 0 laging nasa gitna, wala siyang sign, hindi siya positive, hindi rin siya negative. So, for activity number 2, write the integer that represents the situation. So, let's have number 1, a gain of 50 pounds. So, nandun yung word na gain, ibig sabihin ng gain, dumagdag. Okay, kapag dumadagdag, ibig sabihin, nag -aad. So, paano natin i-represent yun using an integer? Sulat lang natin. 50. So, kapag sinulat natin ganito, plus 50, considered pa rin naman na tama. Okay, next. 15 degrees below 0. Okay, below. Meron tayong below dito. Ibig sabihin ng below, mababa. So, mababa sa 0, yun yung mga negative integers. So, paano natin susulat yung number 2? Negative 15. So, kapag sinulat natin yung 15, at wala yung negative Walang negative kang sinulat dito. Ang sagot mo ay mali. Okay, kahit na nandun yung 15, mali naman yung sign. And then, an elevation of 1,200 feet. So, imagine natin, sumasakay tayo sa elevator. So, anong nangyayari usually sa elevator? So, di ba ginagamit natin yung elevator para makapunta sa pinakamataas na floor? Okay, so, and then, ginagamit din naman natin yung elevator para uh, bumaba. Okay, pero usually kapag elevation na ang, ang ano natin, ang pinag-uusapan natin, pumupunta tayo pataas. Okay, so an elevation of 1,200 feet, isusulat natin siya as 1,200. Okay, positive siya. Next, a profit of 3,000 pesos. So, ang isang business uh, woman o kaya businessman, kumita daw siya ng 3,000. Ibig sabihin, dumagdag ang kanyang mga pera. Okay, kasi kumita siya. So, susulat natin yun as 3,000. And finally, 
650 feet below sea level. Okay. Again, nandun pa rin yung below na word. Ibig sabihin na mababa. Like for example, nakasakay ka sa bangka. Lumubog yung bangka. Okay. Pag lulubog yun, siyempre, papunta ng ibaba. So, ang 650 feet below sea level, isusulat natin siya as negative 650. Okay. Wala naman kasing 650 above sea level na lulutang ka, na lulubog ka. Okay. So, kapag above na kasi ang pinag-usapan natin, papuntang itaas na yun. Okay. So, ayan lang po yung pag, uh, represent ang integers sa mga uh, particular situations. So, after natin i-discuss yung introduction ng set of integers, okay, ang next lesson natin will be, of course, the first operation sa math, syempre, na lagi naman, is the operation addition. So, mag a tayo dito ng integers. So, after natin i-discuss yung addition, syempre, of course, ang kasunod niya is subtraction, multiplication, and division. There are only four fundamental operations in math. So, nung grade na nung elementary kayo, so, yan lang naman ang mga tinurong operations sa atin. Okay, so, wala namang nadagdag na iba. So, I hope naging clear sa, sa inyo ang difference between positive integer and negative integer as well as yung zero. And yung tamang pag-represent ng integer using a number line and as well as using situations. Yun lang, maraming salamat.